of the internet and it's Saturday night, nothing gets past me, of course, the phone in across the internet for one hour. I hope you will be on these telephones. You can see the number in front of you. And we are, of course, live right across YouTube and Facebook and Twitch and LinkedIn Live. How good is that? Get to the telephones. Lovely to have you with us on TikTok. And a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic stuff. What I'm just going to do here, just set everything up for you so that it's just tickety-boo. That's just the way we've done it. Fantastic stuff. You're watching Scotty McClure with the internet phone in. And as I say, it's 10 o'clock on a Saturday evening. Nothing gets past me. Always good to have you with us. So do feel free to come and join us. Now then. The telephone number you should be able to see in front of you, 0141628 0141628 Evening, Scotty, from Jason in Stirling. Wonky says, Mr. Scotty, I have not spoke to you in forever. Are you well, good, sir? Dinky do, Wonky. We're absolutely amazing. We're up to our eyes in the uh, evening phone-in. The internet phone in and we're live right now. So if you're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch or LinkedIn, get to the telephones and let's hear from you. There it is there. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to see that. I'll bring it down a bit if you can't. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Call Scotty now. 0141628-9795. Now I'll check that the phones are working. So there we go. I'll just have a quick look, see if we've got that working, because that is always very, very important. There we go. Thank you very much. See what's happening here. Yes, indeed. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. Now, lots to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in, as always. That's the very strange thing. Right, the phone should be working. So give us a call as soon as you possibly can. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Ah, matey. How are we? Uh, don't you think it's matey? Do you think it's matey boy? Is it matey boy? Yeah, it's okay. Right, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yes, I'll give you that. You sound a bit like matey boy, but I would understand if it's not. I've been on a bit of a high today because I was listening to some of your YouTube um, uh, uploads. Fantastic. You you were not. I was I was having a chuckle to myself this morning, um, with some memories on Facebook, and I was listening to Working Mothers. Ah, uh, you you you're, you're you're good. You're sometimes good, buddy. Well, well, sometimes good. Well, we cannot put up with all that. Um, uh, you know, you have to just tell the truth, don't you, matey? Oh, it was good. It was it, it really made my Saturday morning. Wow, there you go. Now we need to, how do we get the word out there about Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and how do we let everybody know to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications? I mean, it was, it was, it was really like quite one of those things that goes back in history where you think to yourself that the, 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 the peak of the radio phone-in was like at its best. Yeah. Um, when you worked for Scott FM, because you, yeah. you, 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 you turned that whole thing. You man, you, you managed to draw um, the full of the country. Actually, I don't mean to float your boat. No, you're, you're, um, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, it surprises me as much as it surprises you. But you know, we had anything up to a quarter of a million per half hour. Well, the, well, the whole thing. Remember the article when when. He he said that you totally crashed the system. We crashed the system, we did. And, uh, and uh, you know, they set it all up again. And off we went 460,000 calls in one week. Now, I'm even uh, nowadays, of course, we've got the internet. We didn't have the internet then. So, you know, you're going to be, how can I say, dividing up the cake because people's time is saying, no, I watch this on telly. No, I watch this on YouTube. No, I watch this on Twitch. No, I game. I, I Facebook. I this, that, the next thing. But in actual fact, if we can just get the message out there, there's no reason that everyone with an internet connection can't join the internet phone in. But it's 
thing is, Scotty, though, this is the problem, though, I think, in society now that we've all, we all want to just um, pitch our, our replies and complaints and, you know, we want to bully people um, online and socially. And the problem is, though, that, you know, you can sit behind a keyboard and, and be whatever that word is that, you know, you, you bully somebody with... A keyboard warrior, a troll! That's, that's exactly what it is, right? And th this is a cheap alternative um, to having um, a quality chat. Now, I, I'm not shy in picking up the phone um, and speaking to you, and maybe the young crowd now think that the way to communicate um, in a conversation is through typing. Um, and that's not the way it works. You I see, I think it. typing is very, very frustrating. I get fed up. That's one side of social media. Nobody was more delighted when we started the phone in than my good self because we can get back to talking with each other. Well, that's what I agree with. I mean, you can get some something like a subject. You can you can get a a, a, a debate um, much more effective. Um, than, than, than you know than, than actually typing because you've got anyway I'm not I'm not going to go into no that. but typing's no good at all and I think this is why people love the phone in and I just know that the phone in plus the internet is dynamite yeah now I've got a question for you right buddy boy right buddy do you, do you still have your website um, the, the forum website. Uh, no, the forum's gone. It went when social media really took over, but it was a very, very hot thing having your own forum on your own website. Well, I, I remember that. And it was very, very acerbic, a lot of people coming on there because we didn't bother about trolling in those days. We just dealt with the trolls. That's right, yeah. The, the, the forum on, on your website, it, it was fantastic. I mean, what happened was that when you had the end of a show discussion, it then continued on to the forum. It spilled on to the forum. It, it, and it was really, really good. Because and do you remember with a couple of green-eyed monsters that really detested me and they couldn't wait to try and slag off McClure? That's right, yeah, I remember that. You know? Um, and, 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 and but, but that was a great idea. And I'm saddened to think that that actually doesn't exist anymore because that was a great um, relief when people didn't want to come on to the show, but they wanted to view their, their opinions yep. on the forum, that that also gave that outlet the opportunity for them to be heard. Well, but these were the people on Scott FM and Century Radio and um, um, Radio Forth and Radio Clyde and all these stations we were on. These were the people that used to phone the Wizard of the Big Switchboard or the Lovable Lassie and say things like... Um, I don't want to go on air, but can you just tell them? Yes. <laughs> now, you see, people like yourself, I think everybody, I mean, you're very, very good on air, but I think everybody should feel free to pick up the phone to Scotty McClure. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. Um, but, you know, it's, it's maybe if you've, if you've not got the confidence or you might just want to kind of, you know, um, put a couple of sentences in through... Um, online or whatever, but yeah. um, the, 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 the thing that saddens me is that, as you say, the, the keyboard trolls have taken over um, radio, and the, the live radio, I mean, you are um, what I would say is the Howard Stern of USA. I mean, you, you are the most popular, um, not to float your boat, buddy. No. Um, but, but you no, are should you? Well, you are the most talked about shock jock um, in the country, um, and and that's to be absolutely commended. I mean, that's been that, that that's a fantastic um, legacy that you've actually um, and and you know you kind of you know, encountered, um, and that's all to do with um, the, the subjects, um, the discussion, and your opinions, and not being afraid. To voice them on air. 
Nor should we be afraid to voice them. The problem I've got now is there's so much wokeness going around that it's very difficult to actually do that because everybody gets so easily offended. Oh, he looked at me sideways. Yeah, I, I, I know. I, I, know. I, I, I mean, you know yourself, we used to have some absolute rollicking battles on here, calling each other all sorts of things. And then the next night, we, we put our toys away at the end of that night, started again. I was speaking to a, a clergyman a couple of days ago, and um, they, they saw, um, I think it was maybe from America, actually, that um, they were talking about suicide, yeah. and um, the, the, the word, the word um, committed suicide, um, they're trying to take away um, the word committed because it's not a crime. So what, what they're saying... Because it's not a crime. It's not a crime. But as you know yourself, the church used to see it as a sin. It is a sin, yes, it is. Yes. And, 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 and it still is. But what, what they've got to say now, when, when they talk about um, the pathologist um, asking how somebody died, and they, they, they are, they're not allowed, this is a, there's a petition out, um, I, do, I, do, I actually don't know if it's going to take off or not, but the petition is saying basically that you're not allowed to say committed suicide is to be death by suicide and i can't believe that in this day and age that we're not allowed we're not allowed to say committed suicide because it's not a crime that is death by suicide it's, it's, it's well pardon me that. using the phrase that's overkill but that's exactly what it is because it, by the very definition, suicide means death. So to be adding death by suicide is not right at all, even in linguistically and grammatically. Well, that's correct. Yes, exactly. That's a double kind of take, isn't it? You know, I mean, I mean, what else? How else is suicide going to end up? Well, if, if they said somebody was um, intoxicated or um, overdose. Uh, that would be obviously to do with things like why somebody ended their life. Well, I think the one was took their own life while the balance of their mind was disturbed. So in other words, uh, your mind would be unbalanced and balanced if you were driven to suicide. Well, that's, that, that's actually a much better way to put it. Yes. No, that's a, that, that, I'm going to actually think about that. You know, yes, he took his that. own life while the balance of his mind was disturbed. Now, that serves every single master, ticks every box. It doesn't remove the desperation and the sadness from what's actually happened and the fact that a person, very often a young person, has felt the need to take their own life, you know, regardless of the balance of their mind. Yeah, well, that was great. That, that was this was due to a funeral that I was playing at a couple of weeks ago. Yes. This is what the family wanted to actually um, say. But I completely disagreed um, with the fact that it, it should have been, um, you know, d death by suicide. That's, that's completely... Inaccurate. No, I think the whole thing, death by suicide, smacks of people who are not thinking and uh, who, who are even not properly educated uh, you know, and linguistically accomplished. So to st try to enshrine something like that in law is just plain wrong. It is. It's absolute lunacy. It's, it's absolute lunacy. And that's where um, these, these now ridiculously made up rules about having to make sure that everyone, you know, your passport shouldn't be actually be saying mum. It should be saying birth parents. No, no, the mother, we need to know who the mother and the father of the child were, even if it's, uh, you know, I mean, obviously it's it's impossible to have it as same sex because you would need to put down the proper father. But if people are talking about, um, you know, uh, insemination and all sorts of other things. Now, I think the church should be sticking its oar in here. And as you know, I don't necessarily carry flags for the established churches. That's not my job. 
but I think it should be sticking its oar in here because I remember people discussing a funeral. They said I was at so and so's funeral the other day, and then they lowered the voice. They said, "Did he take himself away?" He said, "I did." In fact, at the funeral, uh, we couldn't take him in the main gate and couldn't sit him on the coffin table. He was going over the wall of the churchyard. Right. Now, these that's very difficult for a family. Uh, now, normally, any human being who's dead in our parish, in this church, we would take them out the front door, you know, down the steps and out to the hills. But because this young man took his own life because the balance of his mind was disturbed, we're going to pass him over the church wall. Now that's painful at a time when people are feeling their most acute pain. Yeah, I, I, I know. That, I mean, there, there's an argument there, Scotty, as well, to, to, to say that, you know, 20, 30 years ago when we were in primary school or I was in primary school, you know, uh, you were you were probably still, um, uh, you know, in nursery school before me. Um, they, uh, they, there was no such thing as um, mental health issues. No. Nothing and, and, and there was no such thing bad. as additional support needs, as special education. You just said things like, I think one of his wins wasn't he quite right. I know, and I, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to start on this debate. Today. No, because it's huge, and it's a Saturday night, and we're a fun phone-in in general, but don't for one second think that it's not good to have a serious, heavyweight debate about issues yeah. that affect a huge number of people. Well, I know, I know. My, my problem is that, that, you know, society today has got so many excuses um, and, and, and so many easy exits um, and, and, and into, um, you know, therapy and, and excuses. It, it, it really pains me um, that, that this is um, what, what is actually happening and, and how we have to accept um, the, 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 the reasoning of, um, you know, conditions that um, people now have nowadays. It's, it's absolutely barbaric. Yes, I think we need to discuss it, and I think I see no reason why we shouldn't discuss it on here. I, I, exactly. I mean, how many people would you say in in Scott FM, you know, would come up and say, "Oh, Scotty, I'm going to I'm going to kill myself and all this nonsense," and that was just a that was a genuine. Sorry, sorry, I should have, should have said that word. No, no, it, it, was, it was false and it wasn't, not the word, but that's what they were doing uh, and it wasn't a creed de cour. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Me, me dispiace, eh, Padre. Um, but the thing is that um, it, it, the, the, the whole um, attention now on, on young people is, is an absolute farce. I'm sorry, I maybe have offended a lot of people by saying that tonight. But I just believe that it's an absolute farce. It's a make-up kidology of... Um, and it's the last thing young people are needing at the moment. Exactly. If, if we've, we've all had a terrible 18 months. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that you're, you're healthy and you're doing well. Uh, we've not spoken a while. Not a while, but can I say to you, and again, I'm not floating your boat or blowing smoke here, but this has been an outstanding call, and I thank you. Well, thank you, Scotty. Um, I, 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 I'll take that on board. Um, Please do. And as I say, it, it was a good, good conversation tonight. Thank you very much. Um, the show has been fantastic, by the way. Um, you always put a smile on my face. And uh, especially sometimes when I go through Facebook in the mornings, I, I see some memories that I've posted on my timeline and I go on and it's just, oh, yeah, it's just, you, you brighten up your day. Let's put it that way. You get a smile or even a smirk. Well, you do. Yes, uh -huh, yes. And we've, we've always had a wee bit of debates in our, in our lifetime, you know. There's always a wee bit of friction between you and I and that will not yes. change. Yeah, and I remember, I don't remember the, what, the first day that I met you, oh, I think you were in Drumtelia, 
uh, country park and you were walking along and I said, hello, Scotty. And you went, hello. And you had a really nice, soft voice. And we had this, this, this chinwag wee conversation. And then we met a couple of times after that. So, yeah. I, well, I, you're I, a fascinating I, character and you're a very, very gifted person. Ah, uh, don't behave. behave yourself. And your, your, your music is outstanding. I have oh, to tell you that no, right no. now. And I'm going to say to you, in nomine Patris, et Fili et Spiritus Sanctus. In nomine Patris, Spiritus Sanctus, Kyrie eleison, okay, amen, amen. Kyrie eleison, amen, amen, my brother. And a dinky do. Good night. Good night, sir. There we are. Right, fantastic. How very, very interesting. To your telephones as quickly as possible, guys. We have a lot to get through tonight and so little time to do it in. I want to get the chat going out here. You're live at Scotty's phone in. Who's that? All right, Scotty, my man. What's happening? Who's that? Rob. Rob. Lovely to hear you. I always need people to say their name when they come on. Oh, boy, that's my name. That's how I said it. That's brilliant, Rob. Yes, love it. Because uh, I've, I need a handle. I was talking to you a minute ago. You were? Aye, I'm. Him? Yes. <laughs> well, it was a very serious first call for Scotty McClue's phone in, I have to say. Oh, well, he's talking a lot of rubbish, I think. Do you think so? Yes, exactly. 100%. I can guarantee you everybody in the country will back me up. Back, me. back you up big style. He put everybody in a down on him. Ha! Right. So, <laughs> so I end up tuning into the phone. It's gone. Whoa! I can't take too much of this. So, we you bring you up to the night, Scotty? Nothing. Fantastic. What do you mean, nothing? We're talking to the world live right now. Ah, uh, but, uh, but you're talking to me, but I'm talking to you. So, what are you up to? Nothing. You need to behave yourself, Scotty. You're always up to something. I'm always up to something. You're always up to something, absolutely. And you're right across YouTube, Facebook, Twitch and LinkedIn. Uh, I'm, over, I'm, over, I'm over, always over to have, uh, have a pleasure as well. Absolutely. Top man. Somebody's calling you Rab the Kebab here. Uh, oh, well, he'll, he'll get this get knocked out. <laughs> he'll get knocked out big style. <laughs> Listen, you are knockout. Lovely to hear you again. Big you look after yourself, big boy, and dinky do. Hey, see, see you later, buddy. Stay fabulous. Who have we got here? Woo! Right. Dinky do, says Big Daddy. Greetings, Sir Scotty, says Neil. Dinky do, Scotty boy. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. Hello from Glasgow, Scotland, says Thomas. Hello, Scotty, says Professor Numpty Heat. Hello, all, says Susan. Dinky do, Scotty, says Charlie. That's definitely matey boy, says Numpty Heat. I think so, Numpty Heat. Evening, guys, says Jerry. VJ has joined us, Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo says Scotty, says Margaret. Hello, everyone, says Kareem. Dinky Doo, and hello to you, says Kareem. Uh, walk uh, is killing free speech, and I think that it's a big cause of mental health. People have uh, keeping everything in. I say, you mean wokeness, right? Wokeness is killing free speech, says Suzanne. Hello, everybody on the TikTok. It's me, Kenny B. There we are. Dinky doo and dinky doo. Evening from Airdrie, Scotty, says Nikki. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Scotty, how are you, dinky doo? There we are. What have we got here? Um, Follow us as soon as you can. You famous says Trello. Very, very famous Trello. Two billion people know Scotty McClue. There we are. Well, hello, says Angela. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Good. We're off to a good start tonight, everybody. Welcome to Saturday night's phone in with me, Scotty McClue, the well stop broadcaster, hashtag Futai, the first lord of the internet. You're live at Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, David, how are you? You're David, right? did you do? What a start to the show of the night, eh? Yeah, it's okay, but, but that guy who was on for like 20 minutes, he was a wee bit depressed talking about things to do with suicide. We know suicide's such a big thing. Yes. Because, you know, but it's uh, quite, but I think, David, it would be wrong of me to steer clear of it and just say to him, look, we're a fun phone in, we're not discussing anything serious. Uh, back, back to you up. He said the second guy came on, and the second guy 
died, I was part of my hand. She said, he's a, he's a wee bit boring, you know. Well, I don't know about boring. It was just a very heavy subject. Suicide is, because there isn't a way back. No, no, don't, 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 let's not make it a night of all that. Yeah, no, absolutely, David, but uh, no, it's, it's heavy stuff, but it was good to actually make the comment. But I'll tell you, I've got a great subject for discussion tonight. One is, has anybody experienced any fuel shortages or panic buying? And the other one is today, today, uh, 12.37, right? How's that for a year? That's no 23 minutes to one, right? But 12.37, the Treaty of York defined the borders between England and Scotland. And the point I was going to make, and we know this from Scotty McLeod's phone in, should we see if the people of the north of England want to become part of Scotland? Because I'm sure they'd want out of Westminster as well. So why not make the border uh, south of York? You're very clever. What do you mean, quite clever? You are very clever. I've heard and your these, calls. These parliament people, they're, they're sitting parliament, speaking about people like me and you, they're trying to run our lives. Again, I understand the fuel shortage. Yes. Grace, all right. They're, they're saying they can't get the lorry drivers. I understand that, you know. And, uh, well, they can't get lorry drivers because of flaming Brexit. And I said this at the time. I told everybody, and they all went berserk at me. I says, remain in Europe. Yeah, that's right. People voted to leave Europe or stay with us. And these people that, that left Europe, that was only to help a few millionaires who are away anyway. Exactly. Yes. Good one, good one. You know, know. It's a national disgrace. Yes, it's shocking, absolutely. And yet people still voted for the people that wanted to do it. Absolutely, yes, indeed. There's somebody else. Angela wanted to bring back Westmoreland. So you've got Cumbria, and then just further south was Westmoreland. Right. Cumberland and Westmoreland. So I'm just wondering, where do we draw the body at the border for Scotland? Uh, you know, and, and we're talking about 700 and how many years? I'll need to work it out. Since the Treaty of York, I, I do. I, I, I understand where you're coming from. Again, this parliament business, we that should be scrapped years ago, Scotty. Yeah. They're all we Hitlers, seriously. Well, it, this is it. They should be there representing the people. Yes. Oh, they're, they're all corrupted. Do you know what I mean? You know that, and I know. Well, they're not all corrupted, but some of them clearly are. Yeah, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, I could go on and go on and go on about stuff like that. <laughs> there you go, David. Uh, we're talking 1,884 years later. Yeah. <laughs> what about that? There you go. That's not for the faint-hearted. Thank you, do la la. Lovely talking to you. There we go. David picking up the pace there, and what a fantastic call. Lovely, lovely. Uh, now, what do we got here? Wokeness, says Susanne. There we go. This guy's really, really good. Absolutely. Dinky do, Scotty. Suffering with a migraine tonight, but you're cheering me up. Hello, Scotty, says Kevin. Hello, Scotty, says Safar. You alive on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Hello, good evening. Who's that? How are you? First name? Uh, Charlie. Charlie! Lovely to hear you. I just need a first name, Charlie, so I know who it is. That's great. Yeah, that's fine. Scott, you were, you were, you were asking, um, I, I missed the start of your show, but obviously I just heard through David's call there. Yeah. It's good to get David back, actually. Um, 
But um, I would just want to say, in regards to the fuel shortage, um, I haven't experienced it, but I did actually see it coming on Thursday. Uh huh. Um, I was out. I was out doing deliveries, um, and uh, um, I could see that the the unleaded um, uh, pumps were were starting to run dry, uh, particularly with a BP station. You know, to be fair, and I think that this is where the the, the issue. Um, you know, arose, it's well, I'll not go into mentioning any companies because I would imagine it will be across the board. Yeah, no, no, I understand that. Sorry, I didn't mean to mention No, no, that. not at all, not at all. I mean, it's a, it's a big, well-known company, you know. Yeah, but what was being reported so far at that particular point was that, is that it was actually the company was experiencing a shortage of drivers. Yeah. Um, and this is what's causing the issue. The media is picking that up and all of a sudden the panic buy and the people that, you know, they've done the panic buy with toilet rolls and cleaning products. These half-witted yeah. idiots that go out and just ruin it for everybody and then you're wanting just a wee lavy roll because you've got visitors coming and there's no other thing to be had, you know? Exactly, absolutely. You know, when you see the picture of the wee woman standing, you know, the husband, oh, sorry, standing in the, sh uh, the shop looking at the shelves that are empty. It's quite heartbreaking. Now, Colelio on TikTok here says it's been, we've been short of drivers for the last 20 to 30 years. You ask those in the trade. Brexit didn't start this. No, Colelio, but Brexit's certainly involved. Come on now. Yeah, it, it is absolutely. It, it certainly is involved. I mean, um, you know, obviously, you know, the, the, the amount of Eastern Europeans that come in, that, you know, that drove the country and kept the country going, etc. Correct. Um, happened is, is, you know, most of them have went back and, um, you know, it's sad, you know, but they're, they're making, I'm, I'm glad to see that they're actually making um, some sort of um, adjustment, you know, to the visa system to try and compensate for that. I think you're absolutely right. They're needing, but they should never have left Europe in the first place. You can't have a system where everything virtually was working very, very well. Don't listen to the doom mongers. It was our EU. We'd built it up over 50 years of peace and prosperity. Along with our dear friends and allies, Germany, we controlled 30% of the full market of 52 countries and 510 million people. And we gave all that up for nothing so that a few rich people didn't have to pay their tax. Exactly, exactly, Scotty. I mean, I think, I think that also, you know, to add is that, is that um, there should be, I, I think they need to be looking at the system and in terms of Eastern Europeans and, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of them have moved out, you know, post-Brexit. But I think, you know, what they need to be looking at is a quicker system to get them in. And I think there should be an automatic entry if you've got an HGV uh, license, etc. And looking at the skills of people, it's an automatic right. There shouldn't be red tape attached to it. There should be a, a speedy system in order, you know, to... You know, to Absolutely. I mean, how different are you if you're German, French, you know, Scottish, English, Irish, Northern Irish, Welsh? You know what I mean? Nobody's going, excuse me a wee minute, hang on. Uh, sorry, see you. Did you bring the bananas in this morning? Yes, I did. Where is it you're from? Because I don't know. I want my bananas coming from you. Exactly. I mean, that, that, that's yeah, exactly. You know, that's a pure racist um, term. You know, that you know, you're racist. just going to say, excuse me, did you bring the bananas in? You go, yes. You say, thank you very much. Can I ask where is it you're from? I like your accent. I'm from Poland. Ah, lovely. Well, thank you for everything you're doing for us. Absolutely, Scotty. And, and, and just also to finish, because I know I obviously... Um, you know, and during the Second World War, the Battle of Britain, we didn't go up and say, excuse me, are you, are, are you English? Or, no, no, I'm from Czechoslovakia. No, I'm from Poland. No, I'm Canadian, buddy. You know, we didn't do any of that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And just, just to finish, Scotty, because I know obviously other people want to get through. Absolutely. We are stowed out the door. I'm just watching the yeah. calls. And staff at you. We'll stop it through. Um, but Scotty, I honestly think also here is, is what you're seeing is, is a mis, um, you know, misrepresentation of exactly what's happening. I think the media is responsible for this. The people that are panic buying, and I think you know a lot of the companies have said, you know what, we've got enough at source, and uh, we've got the drivers there, etc. There may be one or two companies that may be experiencing difficulties. There is absolutely no need to panic buy, and I think. You know, I mean, when you go to the pump, Scotty, and, and if they say, well, there's a 30, 30 pound limit, if you put 50 quid, what, what are they going to do? How can they, how can they police that? You're absolutely right. 
No, you're absolutely right. I mean, once it's in, it's in, and that's the thing. I mean, I think just there's a lot of disorganisation around politically because they didn't realise just what Brexit would involve. But I knew that it could lead to economic annihilation and it could lead to the political fragmentation of the UK. Exactly, exactly, Scotty. There wasn't proper evaluation. And really, in, in hindsight, you know, you kind of think, well, you know, suppose you took a look back and think, we didn't know all these kind of things were going to happen. Obviously, yeah. what we're seeing through the COVID, etc., and the pandemic is that people did panic buy. Yeah. Um, and we get, an extension, we get an extension of that purely, I would say, through misreporting. But anyway, Scotty, I will leave it there. A dinky do, Charlie. What a delight to hear from you. And thanks for your point. Excellent. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. There we are. That's Charlie. Fantastic stuff. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Hello, who's that? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> doesn't know if he's a Weemsbeer Bombay. Fantastic. Dinky do. Yes, absolutely. Great comments here, guys. Dinky do to Lord McLeese as Jordan. Dinky do says Danny. Hi, Scott. It's Alan from Bridlington. Listening to you loud and clear in Switzerland. How fantastic, Alan. We love it. We should leave the border where it is. There isn't enough Scottish water to share with Yorkshire. No, but numpty heat. There's Yorkshire water. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm so glad you're back. Started listening to you when I was about 13. Now I'm going 36. Good vibes. Safar, what a lovely thing to say. Thank you. Lovely to have you with us. Anne-Marie. Hello, Scotty. Nice seeing you again on the internet. Thank you, Anne-Marie. This has been outstanding tonight. Can everybody share this broadcast right now? If you're on TikTok, tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. We're just building this up. There's a moose loose. I put my house, I say, says Keith. Dinky do Jamie McLean, do. Dinky do Jamie. Fantastic. Hello from Slovakia, from Bratislava. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. Dinky do Scotty sending you hugs. Thank you, Wolf Plays. Uh, so there we go. Who else have we got here? Yes, indeed, motorbikes. Kamara, ooh, ha, kama, maha. You're not watching the boxing? No, no, we don't do violence on here. So there we are. Do come and join us. Hello, Scotty. Nice seeing you on the internet. Hello, says Rab. I've shared it already, Scotty, so far. That is brilliant. Can everybody watching Scotty McClue right now share this? Go on to YouTube and subscribe and tap the bell. Right? There's nothing to stop you doing that, then you'll get your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live with the phone in because you're watching the internet phone in. It's a top, 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 top show. There we are, a top, 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 talk show. I'll phone you in a minute, says Rab. Nay no bother, Rab. Fantastic. Everybody get sharing as soon as you can. Addy the baddie, you never, ever, ever need to say that again because you've been free for 99 years. Your day has already come. In fact, your day also came the day of the peace agreement. There we go. Tremendous stuff. Now, if you've just joined me, a very, very warm welcome. We want to know, have you had, you are late, because we start at 10 o'clock sharp on a Saturday night. And uh, 10 o'clock sharp Friday and Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 9 o'clock sharp for one hour only. And we've only got another 20 minutes so let's get it out there, I say. Every single one of you on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel and subscribe and tap the bell. Everybody on LinkedIn Live, feel free to send me a message and follow me on there. Subscribed and bell tap long time ago, says Neil. Excellent, Neil. So we're looking for the new people to subscribe and tap the bell and let's build up the YouTube. Also, Twitch. <clears throat> now, I have been so impressed with Twitch. This is Scotty underscore McClue. If you are a Twitcher and you've got a Twitch account, please go to Scotty underscore McClue right now and watch the phone in. I need about half a dozen of you watching the phone in. It's not too much to ask. Live on Twitch. I didn't know you could like uh, on LinkedIn. Yes, we can broadcast Daddy the Betty. Fantastic. We're live. Didn't know you could go live on LinkedIn. It's just for a few uh, people, as far as I know, at the moment. 
So you've got to apply for it and be accepted. Uh, so there we go. Uh, fuel shortages. Galileo, I'm not going to go into a discussion about that. You know we don't discuss the pandemic. That's for mainstream media. We get far too much of that, and I am not filling the Scotty McClue phone in up with the pandemic. They can get that anywhere. There we go. Subscribe. Thank you very much. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lot of the internet. Can you believe we are 40 minutes into the Saturday evening show? Just amazing. Fantastic. They're just trying to sell Stoke. We love Stoke. Hi, Mr. McClure. Hello, Mortem. Lovely to have you with us, Mortem. Dinky-doo on TikTok as well. Get following on TikTok. Thank you for all your lovely TikTok gifts. So much appreciated. So there we are. Fantastic. We love it. Uh, also, if you just joined us, we're talking tonight about the Treaty of York. Should we move the border between England and Scotland? You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Me, Glenn. Hey, Glenn, I bet you've had some job getting through tonight, La. I have, yeah. We've been mobbed from the start. What do you reckon to these electric companies uh, finishing fire? Sorry, what do I make to the electric companies? What? Um, going under. There's one or two companies that have liquidized. <laughs> well, I, don't, I did hear a businessman, I think I said this to you before, speaking on the radio. And somebody once asked him about takeovers in business. And his answer was, he said, well, there's always somebody trying to eat your lunch. Correct. Now, the thing is that one man's meat is another man's poison. And some of these companies, if you think about it, Glenn, no names, no pack drill. But the impression I'm getting is that some of these companies aren't very well managed. And they have a weakness. We've got bigger organisations. We've got bigger companies. We've got mission in the name, Scott. Yeah, so they're sitting probably waiting to pounce or even saying, if they're very, very hard-nosed, just let them go under and we'll pick them up from the, the liquidator. Or just form as another, form under another company. Say. Yeah, just drop them down and we'll build it up again and take their customers. That's what they tend to do, though, isn't it, really? You well, know? yes, they do. The only problem you've got with that is it goes against the whole social thing and you end yeah. up with a monopoly. Why, why don't they just all get together and form as one guy? Because that's far too sensical and also it means that you that doesn't allow enough of a greed margin. What you're forgetting, Glenn, is not everyone thinks like you. And these companies are not angled towards the people. So the only way you can steal customers from another company is by seriously undercutting. And if you undercut, you're maybe cutting other things uh, in your business and trying to take shortcuts. Now, when European law was integrated wholly, solely, and totally with... Uh, English law, Scots law, UK law, international law, then there were safeguards. Having come out of Europe will allow for the greedy guts to get in there. Oh, definitely. Now, they might not have Britain's interests at heart. They might be from America or China or Japan, anywhere. When they said to you as a customer that we can offer you a better deal and whatever... Well, you're going to have a look at that, aren't you? Of course you are. What well, you do as a customer, you like a little guy, yeah. Well, I tend not to uh, simply buy into that. I always tend to go with the biggest company and kind of stick with them. And then at least you can say to them, I've been with you a long time. Can you have a look at my tariff? But it just depends on what they're offering. As a lot of customers. They do, but you see, loyalty, I don't think, carries a great value these days. I don't think so, and that's a problem. Yeah. You know, what you would have to do, though, is guilt trip the company, but you see, it's like your television and what have you. You see, you've got utilities that it's very difficult to do without. Like, it would be quite difficult for a lot of us to do without gas and electricity. Oh, definitely. 
But we can do without a television company. We can do without a, a picture company. Without mentioning no names and no titles, Scotty, but you, I get what you're saying, yeah. You know, we can even do without a telephone company. We can go somewhere else that does other internet. But they know when, they know when you're in contract, don't they? Oh, they know. They've got all the information about you there and your direct debits and the whole lot. Yeah, exactly, I think. You know, and they tell you, if you read the small print, what they do with all your details. Well, 100%. I think, um, is it in our hands then as customers, then, do you, do you think? Is it in our hands as customers? I don't I don't really think it is. I think we're all hoping yeah, no. to be rescued. Yeah. You know, and, and also they don't like you doing your own thing. There were days in the past people used to have a generator. Get a big old garden of diesel out in the shed running the electricity for your house. Why not? You know? You know, do you know what I mean? I think uh, we do our own work, don't we, as customers? We do. We do our own work. We have a good look round and we think. But the problem is, it's very tempting. You say, do you know, I think I could save 28 quid by going with the other no, company. Uh, but is it worth 28 quid for when you phone them up when it all goes wrong and they go, we, we don't cover that? And then they the stick you on hourly old for something. Which yeah, they stick you on old for an hour. And then you say, look, I'm taking my account elsewhere. And they say, well, you can't do that for another eight months. You're locked in. Because you're in contract. Aye. Right. And then they, and then they, and they, they said to you, well, would you be interested, have you got any appliances, um, new appliances, would you be interested in some... Uh, yeah. Insurance. Yeah, do you want to buy, do you want to do all that? You want to be careful, you know? I've only phoned up to get my electricity for that. Exactly. Do you mind if we set, send all sorts of things out and try to sell you a few things? Got your wish, they think they've got your wish out of girl, it's got to be the hands of the, you've just got to mind over matter, is it? Mind over matter, dear boy, I'm going to have to dash, stinky do. Nice one, Sky. Nice one, Glenn, uh, top man, Tarala. <laughs> You live with Scotty's phone in, who's that? Ah, sorry again, uh, Scotty, it's uh, Matey Boy here. I hope you don't mind me going in second. Uh, no, not at all, Matey Boy. No, very, very interesting, and we loved your call. Um, no, just uh, on, 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 on that uh, reflection there, actually. Yes, if these people think that I'm boring, um, well, then get them to phone back and tell me that they're No, that listen, boring. don't listen to these people. Everything no. to them is boring because they can't get their head working at the level that yours works at. They are thickos. They are thickos, so they're always going to have a problem. So anybody calling you boring is not smart right. at all. These, these people are thickos, buddy boy. Okay. They are thickos, buddy I, boy. I will not tolerate that insolence. That insult online, I will not be having that. So if they've got problems, then they just call me. You, they just call you in, and I will call you back. Yes, right. And give me an opinion on them. I will. I will flush them out, buddy boy. Flush right? these will, people out. I say, very, very important. Right. So that, that's all I've got to say on this. Okay. Right, matey boy. I hear you loud and clear. Amen. Uh, absolutely, amen. Indeed, the darkness falls at thy behest. Ah, amen, Padre. Amen, Padre. And Kiri Eleison. Kiri Eleison. Assisti Eleison. Okay. Kiri Eleison. Absolutely, Lala. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Right to your telephones. Been watching YouTube channels from the US. There appears to be all sorts of shortages in America as well. The main issue seems to be disruption of global supply lines. Who knows what's the truth these days? So far, thank you, yes. Why is there a disruption in global supply? We need to be told. You're live on Scotty McClure. Who's that? It's Rab again. Rab, good to hear you, la. Thank you, I love it. Well, he was a bit annoyed because I think was it your good self that said he was boring? Aye, aye. I mean, me, aye. Aye, but what he's saying is you kind of get your head round what he's saying. Well, no, you see, serious stuff, sometimes when we're talking about drawing up law and things like that, it can be a wee bit dry as dust. But who cares, Scotty? Everybody. Billions care, Rab. Be happy.
Be happy, Lala. I see where you're coming from. You're live on Scotty's for an in. Who's that? Hello? Dinky do. Give us a call, folks. We're very, very tight for time. We're going to have to finish in 10 minutes' time. What a fantastic show tonight. Incredible. There we are. Haggis and buns. Now, who have we got? I got rejected for a job in the Home Office because I put in I identified as Scottish and not British. Well, do you see, up until the uh, referendum in 2014, September 2014, yes, indeed, so that's what, seven years ago last week, seven years ago last week, uh, everybody used to say, are you Scottish, are you English, are you Welsh, are you British, and then as soon as that referendum took place, and it was uh, realised Scotland wasn't actually going to go ahead, as an independent nation on that occasion, what happened? But they removed that alternative view. So you now can't put down that you're Scottish, you put down that you're British or you're from the UK. So there we are, dinky do. I see Gordon Brown as head of finance for the World Health Organization. Scotty, is it's true? Czechoslovakian pilots served to the RAF in the Battle of Britain. Very much true. It was given out stiff upper lip, handlebar moustache, old English chaps flying for the RAF. But in actual fact, Canadian, Czechoslovakian, Polish, you know, uh, I think, I'm not sure with French pilots, I would imagine. All sorts of different people. Uh, you know, I would need to look up and check where everybody came from. S. Horse, that is not your name. And I'm going to dump you with a lifetime ban for trolling Scotty McClure. S horses left us, guys. Dun the Swanee. Woo! Is our gas coming from Russia? No, but I believe it could do. We need to be looking at all these possibilities, guys. There we are. Lovely to have you with us. Give us a bit more chat. Thank you for all your kindnesses, by the way, guys. Lovely to have you with us. What an amazing show tonight. If you want to give me a call, 0141-628-9795. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lot of the internet, the World Stop Broadcaster. We're live right across YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn Live. Uh, you're in a different room tonight, Johnny Boy Johnny. We're in the West Wing of McClue Towers tonight. There we are. Absolutely. Why has it had to quadruple in price? Exactly, Colelio. That's what we need to get to the bottom of. Why are uh, wholesale gas prices going up? Because there's plenty of gas. There's about a thousand years worth of gas and coal and oil still there. Now, I'm wondering, we've all got to be green as frogs for the big conference in Glasgow. What's your favourite thing about Blair Gowrie? Uh, it's just a gorgeous wee village. I love it. I love the berries as well. You're live on Scotty McClure. Who's that? Scotty, it's David. <laughs> David, how lovely to you. You know you're allowed two calls a night anyway. That's right, but I just need to say, <laughs> <laughs> I need to calm down first. Well, Ram's a bit right. Mickey Boy is really pissed off, you know. So. Well, yes, but in actual fact, yeah, well, he wasn't. He was a bit dischuffed. <laughs> He's a wee bit dischuffed. But you see, people shouldn't be calling him boring because the man is obviously 100% intelligent. Yeah, I think it's just the way he's going on. Do you know what I mean? That, and he, he, he is picking about it. And I just think Oh, I was a wee bit annoyed there. That was, I was talking to a very dischuffed man. And he, and he said, he said, I'll challenge, I'll challenge them all game. I'll challenge all these people. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That's what it's all about. <laughs> it's all drama. I love drama. You love drama, David. You live the drama. Live the dream. <laughs> right. Tell me if you want to phone back. Tell me, your boy, to phone back to see what he thinks, but you think he, he was boring as well. That's shocking, shocking. Right, that's David away. I mean, incredible stuff. Good old matey boy, because he came on very, very intelligent. You're a smart guy, Scotty, but is a zebra black, white stripes, or black with white stripes, or white with black stripes? I know what you're saying, Rab, absolutely. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? You're talking rubbish, man. 
Do you think so? There we are. I don't think so. I think you're just not smart enough to understand what we're talking about, man. There we are, half wit. So that's what you get. You will get these people from time to time, especially as the phone in just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. What an amazing show. Uh, a bit of housekeeping. I need you to go on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and subscribe and tap the bell. Now that's not difficult and that will give you the notifications. If you're on Facebook, get sharing as much as you can. We've got several Facebook pages. If you're on Twitch, now Twitch has just been an absolute little angel of a site. So there we are. We ended up with two followers last week and I think we've got almost 80. Now that's amazing. So if you've got a Twitch account, Scotty underscore McClue. Get on to that Twitch account and follow me. Also, share, start whispers about every single one of the broadcasts. Get them round there, please, on Twitch. Scotty underscore McClue. Watch me on Twitch, even if you watch normally on YouTube or on Facebook or LinkedIn. Watch me on Twitch, please, because we need to get people watching on Twitch live. Scotty, how are you, the new one? Great, Scott, thank you. Here we go, back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Nobody, Mr. Nabody. There we are, we've been stowed out the door and step it through and we end up with Mr. Nabody ringing. Goodbye, song, Sir Scotty. Take a bow, Margaret Gibb, you're fabulous. I was one of the Twitch followers last week. You were, Suzanne, but I need you to go on and actually watch the show on Twitch for a bit, uh, just till we become an affiliate. There we go. Who have we got here? Independence is the unknown, but the known is food banks tried in a privatised NHS and a bedroom tax. Well, Addy the baddie, all of that's come from Westminster. So you can't lay that at the door of the Scottish government. I can tell you. Hello, Scotty. Is this Scott O'Neill? Fantastic. Hello, Scott. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo. Fantastic stuff. But there's somebody saying it's an international shortage we're dealing with. I can see that. I'm going to have to say good night. Miss the Scottish Creek, says Jason. Thank you, Jason. What have we got here? I know the G7, the same in Spain. No wind power. I know. What's your favourite thing about Blair Gowrie? It's the berries. We love Blair Gowrie. Fantastic. Like a day, dinky do. How are you? Scotty, how are you the new? I'm just going to say bye-bye to our beautiful TikTokers. Thank you for joining us. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every one of you. Ta-ra, There's our beautiful TikTokers. Have gone. <laughs>